Um, ho hold on just a second. Hiya, Batlings. I'm here with another haul of books that I forgot I ordered. I have been sitting on these for like a week. They finally just all came in the mail like a week ago. So I really don't remember <laughs> what books I ordered. Same deal as last time. I'm going to cut into these and then reach in, pull them out. So I don't know what's in here. I'm not going to go in depth of what they're about. If you see a cover or something that you like or you're interested, all of the titles and authors will be in the description along with all of my links and everything. I don't know how many there are. I have six packages here, I think. I don't know what's in here, so let's find out. in here so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I ordered. Okay so first book looks like there's three in here. First book another Terry Pratchett book. Okay that's Pyramids by Terry Pratchett. Thank you. This is another one we're collecting all the Discworld books so this one <gasps> go to my grave. This one I saw in a unboxing maybe my thrill club murder mystery book so a map of the dark yeah this is like a psychological thriller same kind of deal i think i saw this in a my thrill club unboxing hi picket you gonna help me help i have cats now uh sharp objects <gasps> beautiful chaos book three and the beautiful creatures. I don't have the third one. I got the other, I got the first one, the second one, and the fourth one. So I finally got a copy of it. <laughs> <laughs> Gone Girl. Didn't see the movie. Thought it was interesting. I want to read the book. Excited to read it. <gasps> In the dark. This is a spooky book. Bye. You're cordially invited for a relaxing stay at Forest Shadow Lodge, but you won't make it out alive. Of course I want to read it! <laughs> like, that sounds amazing! Uh, but I don't know why you would want to stay somewhere called Forest Shadow Lodge. Like, that sounds so ominous In, and haunted, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to read this one. Another like murder mystery. I think I saw this one in a book unboxing too. Oh, this one was library book. Nice. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Ooh, the hollow tree. Okay, first of all, this cover is awesome. Spooky book, another spooky book for reals. Another Jillian Flynn, Dark Places. See, this one's kind of beat up, but it's okay. Uh, not that big of a deal. Still readable. All books deserve a place. So yeah, I'm excited to read these. It looks like this author, she, she writes spooky stuff. You know, murder mysteries. I'm into it. <gasps> Season to taste. Or how to eat your husband. She might be worried. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I don't think it's a how-to. I feel like it's purely fiction. It's about a housewife who cooks her husband, I guess. Uh, of course I want to read it! <laughs> of course! I'm actually really excited about that one. Oh, Assassin's Apprentice. Clearly about an Assassin's Apprentice. And 
<gasps> last, we're already here. The last package. See, I told you I didn't have as many this time. Ooh, some good ones. We got Gideon the Ninth, which Evan's really excited about because he actually was like, can you get a copy of this so I can read it? Because it sounds really good. And I was like, yeah, of course. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Evan really wants to read it. Look at that. It looks spooky. And Six of Crows, which is another one that's been on my list for a while. I hear only good things about this book. I think it has a really high like Goodreads reading, like maybe like four point something. I don't know. So I'm excited to read it. Uh, but that's that's it. So I, I didn't even have to play like Jenga Death Tower books this time. Okay, so let's see how many I got. Thirteen. Only thirteen this time. That's like less than half my last haul. This is hardly a haul. I have to do better next time. He's shaking his head behind the camera. He's like, stop, stop buying books, please. We don't have room. This is a, a good stack. It looks like a lot of, I'll say easy, kind of quick reads for me. A lot of them are kind of spooky and murdery and I always tend to fly through those. All the authors and the titles will be in the description so if you saw a cover you like or maybe there's a book in here that you forgot about that you want to read or something um, it'll be there so you'll be able to find it on Goodreads or whatever. I highly recommend thrift books for buying books. These are they're relatively inexpensive a lot of the time. I think the most I've paid for a book off of there is like $16 and it it was a new copy a lot of these i pay less than ten dollars a piece for some of them you get for free if you spend x amount you earn points and with those points you can get free books but yeah i hope you're having a great day thanks for watching and i'll uh, talk to you in the next video whatever that may be this is picket Oh, grumpy. Grumpy. <laughs> oh, but he purrs.